linear equations are the equation of a straight line. The equation of a line is written using x and y, and these numbers are the points on the line. They're also used or written using numbers that are called constants. Here are some examples of equations, linear equations. x plus y equals 5. So the x is the, all of the x coordinates on the line, the y is all of the y coordinates, and then the 5 is a constant, it does not change. Here's x minus y equals 7, that's another, co um, another equation. 2x minus y equals 6, that's another equation. And in this case, it has a constant of 2 in front of the x and the constant of 6 at the end. The standard way of writing, just that this is the equation of a line, this is called the standard form. And we write it like this, we say ax, in other words, some number times x plus b times y is equal to c. And a, b, and c are just constants that we use to show us that there's something there. In this first equation, we would say it was a is equal to 1, 1 times x plus b times y, and b would also be equal to 1. So we don't write down that we have any numbers in front there and there. All right, and c in the first one would be equal to 5. So that's basically the idea of writing an equation of a line in standard form. This is what we call standard form. A number times x plus a number times y is equal to another number. All right, and we just call that a, b, and c, these variables. And they're just constants that don't change, whereas x and y change because they are every single point along the line is an x value and a y value. So those may change, but the a, b, and c will stay the same as we write the equation of the line. While writing the equation of a line in standard form, we need to find these values a, b, and c. I'm going to show you real quickly how to find those values. After you know the intercept points, um, in this case it's 0, 5, and 3, 0, when you know those intercept points, you just multiply the x-intercept and the y-intercept, and that will give you the value for c. So in this case, 5 times 3 is equal to c, so c is equal to 15. All right, c is the easiest one to find. Uh, as soon as you have the x and y-intercepts, multiply them together, and you get the value of c. For finding the value of a, we need to take the point take one of these points, 3, 0, and the value of c being equal to 15, and we're going to substitute that information into the standard form here. We have the standard form of the linear equation. So when we substitute in that value, a is equal, or a times x, x is equal to 3, plus b times y, y is equal to 0, and then we set that equal to the value of c, or 15, then we'll be able to solve. b times 0 is 0, a times 3 is 3a, and to solve for a, we'll divide both sides by 3 and find that a is equal to 5. We want to kind of remember these numbers, c is 15, a is 5, and now we're going to solve for the value of b. To solve for the value of b, we substitute in the other point into Again, the standard form of the linear equation. So a times our x value of 0, b times our y value of 5, and c being equal to 15. And when we solve a times 0 is 0, so essentially that cancels itself out. 5 times b is 5b, and that's set equal to 15. 5 times b is 15, so b is equal to 3. And now we know the values for a, b, and c. All right, a is equal to 5, b was equal to 3, and c was equal to 15. So we plug that information into our standard equation, 5x, because that's a, b is equal to 3, so 3y plus, or is equal to c, and c is 15. So that right there, 
is the equation of our line. All right, so this line here that passes through these two points has the equation of 5x plus 3y is equal to 15. Let's look at another line. This line here passes through the, the x-intercept of negative 9, 0, and our y-intercept of 0, 3. Okay? It's a very different looking line, but we're going to solve it exactly the same way. We're going to use exactly the same steps for solving this or writing the equation of this line. Okay? So this will be good practice for us to see these steps. The first step is to find the value for c. C, remember to find the value for C, we multiply the X and Y intercepts. So 3 times negative 9, and that will give us a total of negative 27. So C is equal to negative 27. And we need to find C first because we use that value in solving and finding A and also finding B. We're going to substitute in the point negative 9, 0 into this equation. Negative 9 is equal to x, 0 is equal to y, and the value for c is negative 27. So we're going to put all of that information into this equation, and we get a times negative 9 plus b times 0 is equal to negative 27. b times 0 is equal to 0, so we can just remove that part, and a times negative 9 is simply negative 9a. Now when we're solving for a, we'll divide both sides by negative 9 for a result of a being equal to 3. Okay, so we know our a value is 3, our c value is negative 27. Let's find out what our b value is. To find the value for b, we're going to substitute the, point, the values, x and y values, from our second intercept point, 0, 3. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. We substitute that into this equation, and c is equal to negative 27. And we got that from the beginning. So we substitute in this information. a times 0 is 0. So we can remove the 0a. b times 3 is 3b, and negative 27 will stay the same. We divide both sides by 3. 3b divided by 3 is just equal to b, and negative 27 divided by 3 will give us our negative 9. So now we have the solution. We have the value for b, we also have our value for a, and we have our value for c. Let's just recall what those were. a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 9, and c is equal to negative 27. We'll substitute that into this equation to get the equation of our line in standard form. 3x minus 9y is equal to negative 27. There we have it. Our line right here, a nice little blue line, that is the equation of the line in standard form. Woohoo! We've done it! Not bad. Now doing this takes a lot of practice, just like if you're a ballet little girl in a tutu or if you're a guy and you're playing basketball, or if you're a guy in a tutu and a girl playing basketball, it doesn't really matter. Just like anything else that you've ever done to get good at, what you need to do is practice doing this. So I encourage you to, you can draw your own lines that have nice x and y intercepts and practice with those. You can go to a textbook or um, go inside your math course. Getting practice on finding the equations of lines is really going to be the key to kind of figuring out patterns and getting good at finding the equations of lines. So, have fun practicing that, and have a wonderful day. I will talk to you again soon.